Hello, my name is Aaron Gonzalez. I am a Sika product engineer, and I'll be demonstrating how to prepare the surface of your substrates before bonding and sealing using Sika Flex elastic adhesives. Surface preparation typically consists of one or more of the following processes, abrading and cleaning, activating, and priming. The surface characteristics of the substrates strongly affect the buildup of adhesion and the final bond strength. Therefore, it is essential to ensure that surface characteristics of all bonded components are constant and uniform in terms of chemical composition, manufacturing processes, and production aids such as mold release agents or stamping oils. Paint coatings must be carefully analyzed and identified. The chemical composition of the paint, type of substrate preparation, application parameters, and the presence of softeners and other additives in the paint modifying texture or finish can affect final adhesion. Please be aware that certain substrates, such as engineered plastics, require special attention and should first be discussed with our SICA Technical Service Department. Even though it is often not visible, nearly every substrate contains loose or weakly bonded chemical substances such as dust, rust deposits, oxide layers, oils or grease, which must be removed prior to the bonding or sealing process. Many substrates can be prepared by simply scuffing lightly using an abrasive pad followed by vacuuming, using a dry wipe, or cleaning with a suitable solvent. The method used must be selected according to the specific nature and composition of the substrate. Non-porous substrates, such as some metals, that are heavily soiled can be cleaned with Sika cleaning agents like Sika Remover 208 or other suitable cleaning agents. Allow the cleaning agent to dry completely before proceeding to the next step. For applications where activators are required and minor contamination is present, the cleaning step may be skipped. Sika activators have a good cleaning performance, but also leave behind adhesion promoters on the surface. Therefore, it's important to respect the correct application method for all Sika activators. Sika cleaning and activating agents can contain alcohol, which could potentially inhibit the curing of the polyurethane adhesives. Never use alcohol-containing products to clean surrounding areas or to tool freshly applied adhesives. Sika activators are solvents that contain adhesion promoters. They are applied with a clean linen cloth or with a lint-free paper towel. Apply sparingly to the cloth or towel and wipe the surface with a straight stroke. Do not apply pretreatment agents with a rotary movement, like polishing. Adjust the position of the cloth often to ensure minimal contamination of the surface by the dirty cloth. Treat only the bond phase. If Sika activators are accidentally used or splashed on surrounding surfaces, wipe off immediately using a clean, dry cloth or paper towel. The primer or adhesive or sealant has to be applied within the maximum flash-off time found in the product datasheet. If that time has elapsed, the bond face must be reactivated. Unlike paints and primers, Sika activators do not leave a coherent film on the substrate, but a difference in shine of the treated surface may be visible. Some activators, like Sika Activator 110 Loom, contain a chemical luminescent that will glow under a UV light after application. Some Sika activators require a wipe-on and wipe-off method, while others are applied using a wipe-on only technique. Always refer to the corresponding product data sheet to determine the correct method of application. Each surface activator has a minimum and maximum flash-off time prior to the primer or adhesive application. This time must be strictly observed. If the adhesive is applied too quickly, solvents may not have time to fully evaporate or other substances in the activator may not have sufficient time to react and may reduce the bonding performance. If the adhesive is applied too late, active groups may no longer be present and the performance may be negatively affected. Dispose of used cloths in accordance with local environmental regulations. Sika primers are pigmented or clear liquids which are applied on substrates and react to form a covering film which acts as an ideal surface for adhesion. They are generally applied with a wool dauber, brush, a special felt pad, or an open cell elastic malamine foam applicator, and just like the activators, have a minimum and a maximum flash off time prior to the adhesive application. Flash off times must be strictly observed. If the adhesive is applied too quickly, solvents in the primer may not have sufficient time to fully evaporate, which can affect the performance of the bond. Primers are only partly capable of protecting the bond line against UV radiation. If a ceramic screen print is not dense enough, Sika Primer 206G plus B or Sika Primer 207AGR can enhance the tightness of the screen print. Nevertheless, 
black primers are not suitable for transparent substrates, such as float glass, PMMA, or polycarbonate, if the bond area is not protected from UV exposure via another primary protection means. For transparent substrates, always use the proper UV protection, such as trims, covers, or UV-resistant tapes. The same rule is valid for translucent substrates, where proper UV protection is required. Cicaflex adhesives or sealants must be applied within the maximum flash-off time found on the product data sheet. If the flash-off times of activators or primers is exceeded, or if the pre-treated surface is contaminated, the bonding surface must be reactivated. Surfaces which have been treated with activators and or primers must be protected from contamination prior to application of the adhesive or sealant. To avoid cross-contamination, incompatible products such as silicone sealants, paints, solvents, in particular chemicals containing alcohol, and cleaning agents must be kept away from the bond area. Primers and activators are not designed to protect against corrosion. Depending on exposure and service conditions, substrates must be protected against corrosion by applying paint coatings specifically formulated for this purpose. Sika product data sheets and Sika pretreatment charts offer a general guide for the preparation of substrates prior to bonding. These documents also contain very important and useful information about substrate characteristics. In any case, it is mandatory to evaluate suitable surface preparation procedures by testing with original substrates. Please contact Sika Technical Service for more information or visit our website at sikaindustry.com.